Hello and welcome. 2019 was an extremely challenging year for the cattle industry, with prices weakening significantly. This will no doubt have challenged profitability, particularly in the beef suckler sector. Population data made available by the British Cattle Movement Service showed a year-on-year -year decline in both the dairy herd and the beef herd in October. In the AHDB Beef Outlook, released in December, we expect both the dairy herd and beef breeding herds to contract further, by between 1.5% and 2% in 2020. After that, the forecast allows for the dairy herd to stabilise, but we're expecting the beef herd to decline again in 2021. More dairy farmers have been using sex semen, and this has allowed them to better target animals to produce their replacements. It has also allowed them to make more use of beef semen on the rest of their herd. Looking at female registrations alone, we can see the increase over the last couple of years of the number of beef females that have been born to dairy dams. These animals are probably best suited to prime beef production rather than serving as replacements in either the dairy herd or the suckler herd. This reduces the number of pure beef females born and also the number of pure dairy females, which are the pool of animals that can be used as replacements. So, this pool shrinks and it means that future changes in prime production become more closely tied to developments in the breeding herd. As long as the breeding herd is in decline, this supports prime production. If and when the rate of decline slows, however, more replacements become needed and prime production is reduced. So, let's have a look at the beef crosses that have been coming from the dairy herd. Since 2016, the number of beef calves registered to dairy dams in Great Britain has increased by 16%. Some of this increase will have been possible because the dairy herd has contracted by around 2% in that time, so few replacements have been needed. That probably explains about half the increase. The most common beef breed for crossing so far in 2019 is the British Blue, although Aberdeen Angus is now a close second, no doubt due to the popularity of Angus schemes. The number of Angus crosses registered has increased by 38% since 2016, and British Blues by 34%. Although still in the top five, registration of Limousin crosses out of the dairy herd have fallen by 12% and Charolais by 7%. Hereford numbers have increased by 9%. This trend of more beef calves being produced by dairy farms is only likely to increase. The widely publicised conditions that some milk processors intend to place on dairy farmers with respect to their male dairy calves will also play a part. Through the combination of sex dairy semen and beef semen, we would expect more dairy cows that might have produced male dairy calves to produce beef animals instead. That's all we've got time for today. Thank you for watching. If you'd like more information on developments in the UK suckler and dairy herds and forecasts affecting beef production in the coming years, please follow the link to the latest HDB Beef Outlook.